This is a breadboard and it allows us to make quick electrical connections without having to learn how to solder. If you look inside the breadboard, you'll find these little metal strips arranged in rows. These are what we make the connections to. If you take a closer look at these metal strips, you'll find that they're actually clamps that are connected together at the bottom. There are other metal strips on the sides of the breadboards that run along the entire length of the board. These are great for power distribution and we call them power rails. So for my power supply, I'm just using a cut up cell phone charger that I connected to some jumper wires here so I can easily connect them to the breadboard. It's actually a cut up mouse, but uh, yeah, as long as it's five volts, it's gonna work. So let's wire up a simple circuit. I'll take my power supply and connect it to one of the rails here. And because these two rails are not connected, I'm just gonna bridge those two rails. Good practice to do so. So the output device I'm gonna use in this circuit is going to be an LED. So I'll just connect that in the middle like this with the pins separated by the middle of the breadboard. So to see which side of the LED goes where, you can look at the length of one of the wires. One of them is always longer if you don't cut them. So the longer side goes to the positive five volts and the shorter side goes to ground. So I'll connect that directly to ground. And then five volts, I'll actually add a resistor in between the LED and five volts. And there we have a nice circuit. And there we go. So I've seen people say, oh, I don't need a resistor. I don't need a resistor. If you take it off, Look what happens to the LED if you just plug it straight into 5 volts. It just blew out immediately and the circuit starts getting hot, which may damage the other components. So you need a lot of resistors. You can get a bunch of resistors from AliExpress for very cheap, for dirt cheap. All the resistors we're going to use in this build are going to be 2.2k ohms. So if you want to build along, then yeah, you know, you know what to buy.